Hey, how's it going guys? Destry here from DestryMoniz.com and in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about establishing the attraction in attraction marketing. Now, attraction itself is very counterintuitive. It doesn't work the way that we think it does. You have to think about it in a kind of backwards thinking kind of pattern. So let's take the dating world for an example. If you are in currently in the dating world or you've previously been in it and have already found your special someone, let me ask you, when you first entered the dating world, did the person that chased after you make you feel attraction or did it repel you? Did that person chasing after you make you feel attraction or just make you want to run away? So chances are that this person that chased after you repelled you mainly because on a subconscious level, the person that's chasing you is actually communicating that they have very little or low value to you. Now, in order for you to feel attraction for someone, you actually have to notice whether or not they, ha they are of higher value. So if someone that is perceived as someone who has higher value, you will feel attraction for them on a subconscious level. You'd want to get to know them better. You'd want to be around them. And you'd want to absorb as much as you can from them, mainly because they have so much value pouring out of them that you just are addicted to that feeling of learning from them, of being with them, or just feeling attraction for them. Now, the difference, let's, re let's relate this to the, uh, the context of online marketing and network marketing. If you chase after people when you're posting, um, po posting something on uh, a Facebook group about joining your company, that's essentially like saying, join my business, join my business, join my business. Is that going to attract people or is that going to repel people from you? Chances are you're not, you're going to receive very little to no interaction from a post that's basically about you joining, uh, about other people joining your business if you haven't communicated value from your post. So let's say that instead of me posting about my company, where I essentially say, join my business, join my business, join my business, instead I promote content, valuable content to your audience that solves a particular problem or struggle that they are having with their business. Would that attract people to you or would that repel people from you? Chances are what, uh, when you communicate more value, then people will be attracted to you. They'd want to learn more about you and learn more about your business and how they can join you in your business because you have so much value pouring out of your content that they would want to send you a message on Facebook. They would want to call you. They would want to figure out what they can do in order for them to be around you to learn the type of information, the type of valuable information that they are seeing from your content. So let's put together a four-step process in establishing the attraction and attraction marketing. So step number one would be first you want to build value within yourself. So listen to positive podcasts, list, read a lot of um, personal development books, read a lot of books that inspire you, surround yourself with positive people that build you up, that want you to succeed, that want to see you succeed and be the best person that you can be. Step number two is to produce content that is helpful for your audience. And in order for you to do this, you have to understand what their struggles and frustrations are and how you can help them. 
Now this content can be in the form of videos, it can be in the form of a blog post, it could be an, a podcast, it can be a Facebook post essentially. Most people will engage positivity or content that is helpful to them because they we're surrounded by negative things all the time and whenever you post a positive quote, let's say on Facebook or Instagram, you're actually providing value to other people because people need a little bit of motivation and inspiration throughout the day when we're surrounded by a lot of negativity. So step number three is to engage your audience and build on that relationship. Once you build value within yourself, you produce valuable content that is relevant to your audience, engage your audience, build that relationship, build that relationship, get, let people get to know you on a personal level, and you'll start to see that more and more people will be engaged, they will be engaging your content, and they'll be more attracted to you, and look forward to your videos, or blog posts, because of the value that's pouring out of you. So step number four is to let your, no your audience know about how they can work with you personally and the benefits that they will receive from getting to work with you personally. So if you've built value within yourself, you've produced the content and you've engaged your content, step four is essentially a call to action. How can you personally help other people get what they want so that you in turn can build your business and help impact more people by producing valuable content whether that be in the form of a, any social media posts or blog posts so let's boil it down so step number one build value within yourself. Step number two, produce valuable content that's relevant to your audience. Step number three, engage your audience. And step number four is a call to action or to let your audience know how they can work with you personally and how they can benefit from working with you personally. So I hope you guys get some value from this post. Make sure you like, comment, and share. Uh, if for more valuable information, make sure you join my newsletter at Desremonies.com and I'll catch you guys in another video.